Good morning and welcome to sunny Winnipeg. Yes, on this very happy pizza day. Okay, I did come back to the model table last night. Don't have a rollback, but what I did was I put an extra coat or the second coat of the Steinle Res on the blast bags. Blast bags, Marine. Blast bags. <laughs> okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put the macro lens on and uh, we're going to look at it a little bit close up because I think I may have put the second coat on a, maybe a little bit too thick. It almost looks... <clears throat> well, uh, I think uh, the best thing to do is just put the macro lens on and show you. They... Uh, Seem to be blotchy, but uh, may maybe it's just the way the light's hitting them. I got lights all over the place here. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's uh, stick our macro lens on here and uh, take a nice close look. Okay, maybe we'll just turn this off here for a minute. No, at arm's length, they, they look pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I, I can see where you might say that the Steinle Res may have kind of pooled a little bit on the on the uh, different places, and yet, it, it when I was painting it, it seemed to be going on nice and even. I should have done uh, a second thin coat and then a, a third thin coat, and it probably would have been a little better. Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think they're sticky or anything like that. No. Okay, the barrels are painted. The blast bags are painted. Uh, at this point I can, uh, in step 51, we've got all the plastic parts on the turret shells. They, they could be painted to 19. Or I could start doing something with the with the life rafts here. Now I just a few minutes ago went over and looked at the life rafts on the that we've already made, and it looks to me like we did them in the '66, and uh, then I used a panel line accent color down in the bottom. Uh, they're they're basically covered up by the catapults. Uh, depending on how I have a catapult adjusted, of course. If there's an aircraft mounted on it, it, maybe I'd have it pointed off to the side. We'll see. You know, once it's in the case, then we can adjust stuff, right? Don't need to worry about that now. That's not going to be for a long time at the rate I'm going. Um, okay, so uh, do I maybe mount these on, on, a, on some masking... Uh, you know some masking tape oh i you know what i i haven't uh i don't think i've cleaned these up this this one doesn't look very good or maybe this is just yeah it was just more or less a little frayed piece of flashing i guess i must have missed um i don't do a very good job of getting my flashing and uh, sprue connection sanded down do i uh a viewer said something to the effect of uh, about three days ago, he said he's butchering his model. Well, we won't be seeing that model. That we, we won't be seeing that viewer for uh, a while because I blocked him. Um, you know, I, I don't. I don't need mean comments. I, I criti you know, constructive criticisms okay, but mean comments. You know, <clears throat> especially if it's from somebody who never commented before and doesn't have anything up themselves. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't need to hear that. So, uh, I, I know that in some, some respects, maybe I, maybe I am kind of butchering the model compared to, you know, the way, you know, Steve and the model shit goes at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, mine does look butchered compared to his, but, uh, I'm having a good time here. No, don't, don't comment on what I've just said. Just, just take it for what it's worth. Um... You know what, I think I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to spray these because uh, if I brush them, I might lose more detail than I than I want to, and I want to try and keep the detail that's down in the bottom of the of the uh, of the uh, that grating or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay, now some of these life rafts have pins top and bottom, like, like this one for instance. And the idea is that the, so one, of the, one of the pins is going to go down into the deck and the other one is going to go into the hole that is in the other underside of, of this right here. Let's see if I can get it to turn over here. Okay, so there's a hole there. So what I have to do here is make sure that I got these ones this way up because they, they are actually the ones going to be seen. I don't know if I've, I, 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 think, I think I've got a lot more life rafts than I actually need, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to paint for sure all of these because they have to be, <clears throat> excuse me, they, <clears throat> Don't tell me my voice is going to go on me now. Uh, yeah, they, for sure, they, they have to be painted on the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and do them all. Uh, these ones here, for sure, I want to have the sides painted. It won't, probably won't be impo important if I get the grating panel line colored because chances are we're not going to be using these anyway except for maybe to go underneath one of, one of these. Um, am I making a mountain out of a molehill here? I will not deny the fact that it was a little bit cool yesterday, and it did look a little bit like it could rain, at least at the beginning of my run. However, I was seeing blue sky peeking through the clouds as I was coming home, so uh, yeah, it sort of made the whole uh, thing a little bit more fun, you might say. Anyway, I got out for an hour and 45 minutes altogether, and, uh, well, I guess uh, altogether isn't the way to put it, because uh, I, I was going, you might say, as I've said before, uh, non-stop, <laughs> except at the red lights and stop signs. Now, when I was out this morning talking to my neighbor, he mentioned that we're supposed to be having nice weather, so I checked. Sure enough, the next three days is supposed to be nice. I hope he's right.
Okay. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to uh, mount the uh, turret on rotating blocks. Okay. Okay, not not that I plan to uh, uh, rotate them, um, you know, on on the rotator, but um, although I might put them on the rotator if I can get the tape off. Okay, uh, that one's blocked too. I guess I uh, tore my tape too long, didn't I? Probably some of you are watching and we're saying, Ron, you're tearing your tape too long. That's this one. This one's all right. That'll be. That'll make it. Okay. Now, yeah, not not because I want to rotate them as I'm spraying, so much as I want I want to be able to have something to hold on to without touching the sides, and and this should work. Um, at least that's the plan. Here's what's happened. Oh, uh, not too long ago, I got a phone call from somebody who wants to come over this afternoon early and have coffee with me. And that somebody wants to take my scooter out for a spin. Now, he's, he's taken it out for a spin before, so I know that he knows how to, 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 to ride it, so anyway, pizza day. Now, you know, what I think I'm going to do with the, <clears throat> the, with the rest of this is I'm going to cut it up, sort of dice it, and uh, I'm going to mix it up with uh, mixed vegetables, and uh, yeah, that, that, that's the plan for the rest of this pizza. So, uh, yeah. You know what, I, I think maybe what I should do here is uh, wind this episode up. Um, yeah, there's not, not a whole lot more I can do here before I set up to spray. So, um, yeah. Well, I'm going to have one, one more little piece here. One more little piece. Maybe, maybe a piece with a uh, ground beef in it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. Mmm.